Tommy Torres. This is a partnership tarot reading for Taurus for the week of December 20th. Okay, so I was getting, tell me what you want from me. Take a look at what you see. There's definitely a question of the other person's intentions here. I feel like people need clarity about this relationship. And it's just like, please tell me what we're doing. What does this mean to you? It could be that someone's trying to understand if your relationship is moving forward, what you want from them, how you see relationships in general, and what's going on between you and this person, okay? The Eight of Cups. So you have the Ace of Wands here with the Eight of Cups. You definitely have a brand new beginning coming in. I feel like you're ready to walk here. You're just ready to walk. You're okay with that? The higher font, that's you. The hangman and the knight of pentacles. Yeah, here's the thing. I feel like there's something here that you feel like you're on hold for or that someone is on hold, but I do see you kind of looking over at somebody over here like, what are you doing? What is this? What's going on? Because I have a new beginning in my court or there's a new beginning over here, so I need to know what I'm gonna do with it. That's kind of what this is telling me. What else is on the bottom? So I see you also leaving a situation where in the past it felt like there was no healthy communication between you and somebody, or you're just trying to leave a situation where there's like not enough answers here. Tell me about this person. Who's coming into Taurus's reading this week? So there's something about like, I feel like someone could be asking you to be patient or to try and understand them here, but I feel like you just really wanna know what's going on with you and what you're gonna be doing. There's something about you that feels a little bit guarded as well. So you have the Knight of Wands coming in, okay. The Nine of Cups, now I can see why. So you have a lot of, um, some sort of passionate rendezvous coming in over here from somebody. This is somebody who wants what they want and what they want is a very passionate exchange with you with this Knight of Wands, okay. <clears throat> Tell me about this Knight of Wands and the Nine of Cups. The Moon card. Lackadaisical? Lackadaisical? Okay, so this is someone, I feel like they're kind of, um, wow. The King of Swords and the Lovers. They're kind of feeling like they don't know what to say or they don't know what to make of your situation with them. So I do feel like you are going to be having conversation about your relationship with this person. And this is like, this is what I want to do. Are you going to do it? Or are you on board with this situation here? What do you think about this, Taurus? This is my idea of a relationship. This is how I see us working together or this is how we can partner here. What do you think? There's something like this going on. So maybe this is some sort of passionate relationship that could be taking it to the next level or someone just really wants to take this to the next level there's definitely a sense of someone needing clarity about this because it's like i can't take it any longer not knowing what's going on between us over here so just tell me what's up what's going on and then you're kind of looking at them sideways or you're like what are you talking about let's see how do you see this person this is someone who's like I want a decision to be made. I, I want it to go this way. So this is definitely some someone who is very, um, I guess, macho, or they kind of want things their way. Okay. How do you see this person, Taurus? The Ten of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles, wow. So you see this person as most likely a good investment here for you, but you're not necessarily sure if it's getting to that place or if it's gonna maintain in that place here. So this is someone that you see, maybe they um, have a lot of resources or they have access to a lot of resources here and they're very loving and kind, okay. Maybe you'll feel like they're a bit, um, 
immature at times or kind of like they could achieve more or that they they're just starting out in some way especially how to relate to people how to talk to people how to kind of build relationships but it looks like their finances or their stability is good i feel like you're curious about how they feel or what they really want out of this or someone is it's just that you're wondering i feel like you question what they say or you question what they do so this feels kind of fresh or new or like you're just getting to know them or knowing them on a different level but you do see them as kind of giving to this maybe you're wondering are you seeing other people or do you do you talk to other people for some of you it's like are you are you only talking to me or you do you only do this with me that's kind of giving me pause or something like that as well okay let's see how does this person see taurus The father? <laughs> okay, well, you guys are matching in your masculine energies here. They're seeing you as the king of pentacles and the emperor here. Oh, wow. So they see you as like you are very... Um, very independent, but they see it as almost being a fault or they feel this way. They're feeling like the um, Taurus doesn't want to give up their independence or Taurus just wants to be independent and enjoy themselves or like, um, they feel like you could have bad feelings about them and their other relationships too. So did you bring this up to them? They feel like you're, you're stubborn, guys. They're kind of like, well, Taurus doesn't want to work with me. They'd rather be on their own because they think certain things about me or they feel certain things about me. They have these um, preconceived notions or they feel like I'm giving to two or something like that. So they definitely feel an imbalance here with you. Let's see what else is here because the three of swords, yeah, the three of swords and the five of pentacles. So they feel like you, you are wanting to stop talking to them or that you're ready to shut them out here. And I feel like you made that clear or it's almost like they feel that they're like Taurus doesn't want to associate with me they don't feel like talking with me about our relationship or um they feel like you're yeah you have some negative feelings about them possibly like a concern that they're not completely single there's something about them that's giving you pause here they may feel like you're a heartbreaker or like you're breaking their heart even. Let me see. They're saying it's hard to build with you or it's hard to get over disappointments with you here because some idea is not being accepted. The idea about the relationship. Look at that. The Ace of Swords, the Devil card, and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. So they feel like you're mad at them or like you don't want to be associated with them because of other attachments here until something is over or until um, the past is over. So someone needs to end their past from what I'm seeing. It's like, I don't want to be involved. I don't want to get attached when there's not, it's not going to really do much for me. Let me see about this. 
Okay, there you are. The Three of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. You want something that is more cooperative, and I feel like they kind of realize this. Okay. Or you're building something. Let me see. What do you want with this person, Taurus? Let's see what's going on. What does Taurus want with this person here? You're saying that your forward movement with this person is hindered, okay? You can't necessarily move forward with them, yeah. So you're kind of considering that you should just keep them on block or like leave them alone entirely. Someone has some past situations that have not been cleared out and I feel like you're more concerned here with your um, emotional and mental health or having things easier and not necessarily experiencing blockages with the relationship or understanding people and right now there's not really a mutual understanding about this situation and this is kind of making you shut down or shut this person out here so you feel like this is a no-go tell me about this person what do they want with Taurus yeah they want patience they want to heal this they want a coming together they want to close the gap they want things to be more of a mutual understanding like i said i feel like they're asking you to be understanding or try to see things from their point of view here so there's some sort of guilt that is happening here you said something to them that made them feel bad um that they kind of made them realize something you said something about the relationship and the truth of it is stressing them out. So I also feel like they're worried that you don't want to talk about the relationship anymore. The Queen of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is someone who is saying that they just wish that you would talk to them so that you guys can sort things out here. They want to have that clarity with you. They want that understanding. They want to know what you want to do. They want to tell you what they want to do here. They feel like they want to fight this out and sort this out with you. Like they'll, they are willing to go through some um, awkward conversations or communications with you so that it can restore some sort of peace. Because they, they really want to change this. Okay, what are Taurus's next moves? What are Taurus's next moves here? The seven of wands. Yeah, you're not having it. Okay, you're going to go silent or you're quiet here. You feel like this is over. You feel like this is done. You're not wanting to talk to this person. You're concerned about healing. You're not interested. Okay, I do see that you are definitely trying to get to a better mental space right now. And this just isn't it or it just bothers you or it stresses you out here with this person. You feel like there's no point. So this is you and the high priestess saying, yeah, um, I'm just going to protect my independence from this person here because I feel best doing this and that's my decision. And then you're in this emperor energy. So yeah, you have strong boundaries with this person coming up this week. Tell me this person's next moves. Wow, this is popping out. The king of cups. Okay, tell me this person's next moves. The Four of Cups. The Five of Cups. They're sad. They miss you. They're very sorry. They're feeling bad. I feel like they're kind of confused. They don't really know what, what went wrong, why it went wrong, or what to do here. They're like, why am I being rejected? Which is interesting. Yeah, they feel like they don't understand. They want clarity about your relationship at the very least and why they still feel connected to you, why you won't talk to them. They feel like you're snubbing them. <laughs> okay, the full card. So now they're like, well, how do I get to that place of like not caring here? What am I going to do? How can I have a new beginning? That's kind of what is going on with this person. So they're in a feeling of regret. They feel sorry. They feel bad. Okay. So they're watching now. They're watching you. They're wondering how you can just go by unscathed or, or like you don't care. This is kind of bothering them. They're like, why does Taurus not care? How can they just detach from me and not want to talk to me? And they go into the seven of wands energy. Like, why are they so defensive? Why, why won't they um, open up pretty much? 
So they're going to be spying on you, Taurus. That's what this is. Mm-hmm. So I feel like the blockage right now is that you're not interested in making peace or accepting this offer with this person here. Like you're okay without it. You're fine without it. Um, you might feel like this person is a little rambunctious or they play too much or they like to have too much fun or something like that. I feel like you're looking for something more serious or more stable and this may not be it for you. like there's some sort of um, situation that's not healed with this person that maybe they're into some things that you don't appreciate or you feel like yeah they, they need a they need to handle some things is what this is looking like to me and until then you feel like this wouldn't grow here so that's what's with the detached energy Yeah, I feel like this person is having a hard time being like independent or being single here. This could be someone who's booed up or they have another situation or you feel like they do. Yeah, it looks like someone like you don't trust them or you feel like they hide stuff or they're lying things. You feel like this person is some kind of criminal or like they're just sneaky, something like that. Mm hmm. All right, that's it. We got the Ten of Swords there. This connection is still here. I don't feel like this is over. Um, I do feel like there will be some more attempts or something of the sort coming in. I don't necessarily see it going very far this week, okay? But I do see you have this other beginning anyway, or you're going in a different direction because we started this with your Eight of Cups, okay? So this is someone that you're trying to detach from here, seems like to me, okay? Love y'all so very much, Taurus. Feel free to check your other placements, your friends, your family members, your neighbors, coworkers, Peep and Tom, Peep and Tom down the street. Check their placements too so we know what they're up to. Kisses. Love you. Bye.